Four of us are about to go on the dawn patrol to Verdun. We've started to get things under control there, but now we've got trouble at the Somme River. Hostilities have erupted following a massive Allied offensive. Already there's talk that this new battle could be as drawn out as our current deadlock. No orders for our transfer, but we can expect them soon. With three Eindeckers in front of us, I thought not of the song, but of seeing my name in the newspapers. I just hoped it would be in a glowing war report and not in the obituaries. The French are celebrating Bastille Day and the champagne is flowing, though we'll soon be taking a break from the festivities to bomb the Saraburg aerodrome. Georges Guinmer, whom reporters have made the toast of Paris, is supposed to give a speech here tonight. I hope when I get home I'm half as popular as he is. Bet he never has trouble getting the girls to take notice. No storming of the Bastille today. Dodging Archie left and right, we sighted the Saraborg airbase and rallied to raise it to the ground within centuries. It's late afternoon as I write this, and we still have one patrol to go. 
This week we learned that Immelmann is not the only great German pilot out of the air. According to the papers, the Kaiser has assigned Bölker to a training tour of Turkey. Guess Germany couldn't afford to lose two greats. Still, I wonder how the Luftstrike craft can function without its renowned leaders. Coming out of the clouds with our engines at idle, my partner and I had the clear advantage as we snuck up on two monos. I pulled my throttle forward and prepared to open fire on the iron cross rudders. I'm glad the weather is improving. Spring has at last turned into summer, so we don't have to worry about the cold for a while. What we do have to worry about is the Somme offensive, which from all I can tell isn't going too smoothly. We also have to worry about the incessant enemy supply trains. At midday, we're going to bomb the line northeast of Nominee. So much for the blooming trees. There wasn't any time to enjoy Nominee's green hills and flowering pastures. The train we targeted was swiftly slipping out of range. We needed to level it quickly and efficiently. The Battle of the Somme is becoming more heated. British and French troops are now advancing between Delville Wood and the river. I can't imagine it'll be long before we're called up. Later today, two of us are escorting a bomber deep into enemy territory near Beach. 
We're not to return until the bomber has an unobstructed route. Could be rough. As two Fokkers emerged from the fog below us, my partner and I knew we'd face more at beach than mere babysitting. The enemy didn't just want our ward, they wanted us in their trophy case. The geniuses at HQ sent us a beauty for today. We're supposed to strafe a munitions train near Metz. Bombs are in short supply, so we'll have to do it with bullets. <laughs> Great. They run out of bombs, but want a bombing mission, so they send us anyway. Guess it's pretty easy to strafe a train from behind a desk. Pencil pushers really get on my nerves. Whoever came up with this idea of strafing trains should be court-martialed. Bullets bounce off trains. It was going to take a lot of hits to get this one off the tracks. Didn't mean to sound bitter in yesterday's entry. Guess I was a bit tired. 
even more tired than usual. Hardly slept at all last night. Thinking a lot about home. Wishing I were behind the wheel of Dad's Model T instead of going up daily in these death crates. Anyway, our new bombs arrived, thanks to General Trenchard, and we have orders to make use of them on the Met's aerodrome. Citing the oft-bludgeoned aerodrome, I readied my parcels for special delivery. With the fall of this base, the territory underfoot would soon be in the bag. The skies have been almost silent. Belka is back from Turkey and quietly reorganizing the Luftstrike craft to counter our offensive on the Somme. No contact with the Hun for days. Eerie. We're scheduled today for one of our last patrols over Verdun. I don't want to face the Colonel without a victory. As we approached the war-torn fortress city, we were saddened to see our battered men still dug into their positions. The three of us split up as a single attacker tried to add our hides to the landscape. 